Well, good morning, everyone. I'm Kelly. And I'm Caitlin. And here we are on day 21 of 30 and 30. Beer month. Yes. Yes. Beer braised chicken wings is the order of the day. I'm so excited. This is a big deal because you, I just feel like because you've really perfected your oh. Your it's wings. Nice to say. I, I feel like it's a big deal that you're sharing it with everyone. Oh, oh well, we share everything. Yeah, we're not really bashful. So oh gun. Okay. There's uh, probably going to be some other Lord. secrets we'll talk about too. Okay, so traditionally when I do chicken wings, I do a twice fry. So the first one is to get through. Yeah, but it's not the same. Okay, sorry. It's not that secret. Okay. It's already okay. out. Yes. Okay, so this recipe was inspired by two parts. Number one, you know, so if you ever type like cooking with beer into Google, mm -hmm. the first thing that always pops up is beer canned chicken, where you do oh. naughty things with this on the ground. You do naughty like, things to the chicken. Yes, exactly. With this. But not with, um, thank you. Um, but not with glass, of course, not on the grill. No. Okay, so, so that was the first inspiration. And then the second inspiration is we just got to uh, interview the owners of our local watering hole, if you will, and their chicken wings are delicious and probably my favorite thing on the menu. And they confit them indefinitely until they fall off the bone and delicious, and then they fry them. So, wait, can you talk about confit? Confit is just completely surrounded. Traditionally, it's duck fat, um, and then you just slowly braise it low and slow uh, until the meat is tender. But it just yields like the most tender, juicy. It's C O N F I T. I mean, I just feel like people probably see the word and not know. Okay. Okay. So here's the deal. I, the beer of the day is Christian Morline Barbarossa Dark Lager. So it, because it is darker, the malts have been roasted. It has more flavor, but it is like a drinkable everyday kind of beer because it's a lager. So I chose to use that to impart a lot of flavor on these chicken wings. I like to buy the little drumette situations. Because they're just delicious and, and easy it's to eat. Fun to say. Drummets. Yes. Okay, so I covered this. I covered the chicken wings in beer, and then I let them braise for about two hours at 350 until they're tender. Caitlin, it looks like these don't have any skin. Did no, you they don't. Them? Oh, they're just so braised. Yes, yes, yes. Huh. Um, and then, so braise them and then pat them dry. If you add any sort of liquid to hot oil, it will spit at you. That is something I learned my first day with my husband making him chicken wings. And our fingers were all stuck together. Yes, that was bad. bad. Love. Okay, so pat the chicken wings dry um, and then fry them up. While I'm frying them, Kelly is very excited to read oh, to yeah. you about... Okay, so this is the beer we're using. Christian Morline Barbarossa. We're going to pet these dry a little okay, bit Okay, good. That's the sound of it spitting. Christian Morline is local to Cincinnati, um, and so certainly we're big fans, isn't it? But I would like to read to you about. Is it okay? Yeah. Okay, keep reading. Okay, Barbarossa. Because I feel like you're going to see this. You're going to see this again. This word, if you haven't already seen it, lots of times. Christian Morline says, "You've made a discovery: a dark lager honoring Frederick the First, Emperor of Germany, known as Barbarossa." Folklore says he never died. Instead, he sits enchanted in a cavern until the raven ceased to fly, signaling for his triumphant return. Moorland Barbarossa is slow aged with a deep reddish brown color and a malt aroma derived from Munich dark malt. The balanced finish invites a toast to the return of a legend. Welcome, Barbarossa. Welcome to the Cookie with Caitlin Kitchen. Oh, wow, they're already five. Yes, yeah, so the chicken's already cooked through. All we're doing when we fry them is just putting on the crust in the color that you want. There we go. Okay. And I have paper towels already, like, on the cutting board. Keelan, I've been listening, but I need you to review when they were cooked through. Because right. I braised them in oh, the air. Oh, they were braised yeah. the I was thinking of um, them just being marinated, but braised means they were cooked. Yes. Okay. okay. So... Once they're hot and crispy, from the fryer, put them in a bowl, and then I just made a simple seasoning, just a dry rub of fuel, salt, pepper, and I like to use Old Bay. Caitlin. And then while they're still hot, they will. Look how pretty that is. Do you want to sprinkle some more? Yes. Okay, no, not in your nose. No, smells so over good. Over the chicken. Okay. Okay, okay. there you go. Just toss, toss it while they're still hot. 
plate it, eat it, enjoy, and get some more beer to go down with. Did you twice Delicious. Play? Are you being serious right now? Just we braise them and then we fry them. The and braising is the cooking liquid. Got Traditionally, it. the first fry okay. is how you cook. Kilam, I was reading, I was so okay. worried about Barbara. Thank you for tuning in. The words are written out down below. Click for all the details. Or if you have a sister like me who will do all the cooking for you, just call her up right now because it'll just be better. Okay, stay tuned. More to come. Delicious food. See you. Goodbye.